want to do is just show you the pick list manager. So the pick list manager, when it's set up, has a series of kind of collections of you, if you will, this one called structure number. There's the possibilities that are out there. Now, I don't have all of them defined. You could easily have thousands of values or hundreds of values in here. So I'm going to type in this one and say, let's call this one str750 and add that to my, my list. Now, when I go out and select this and I'll right click, I'm going to go to edit item, which is also something new that was added. This is update seven. It gives me the ability to use the pick list. So I can come out and select 750 and update it. Now you might say, all right, wow, that was slow. You placed the line, then had to use attach item. And you'd be right, is that there's a much quicker way to do this. And that is using an element template. So for example, I'm going to come in and select drainage system piping. And now I'm going to pick a tool like place smart line and draw it. And you'll notice that if I just go to element selection and I go pick the properties of it, go take a look at it. Hey, notice it's all filled in with the exception of that structure number. And we'll just make it uh, seven. We'll make it the same as the other. Okay, so now when we take a look at the properties, you'll notice that everything's filled in, but you'll notice three that are grayed out, the length, the cost, and the weight. Now, how's MicroStation calculating that? Well, in addition to, to you know, um, uh, update 12 was the idea of doing what we call EC expression. If we take a look at the item types, when we create one, called pipe length, for example, this can look for a particular property. And when I say a particular property, what it's going to look for is you can use the, uh, you can have it go out and look at an, a particular element. It can look at a, a something to do with a file, a model. In this case, I want to automatically fill out the length. And you might say, well, I can still run a report and get the length of a line. Well, this is, this is of no use. Yes, it is. It's a lot of use because if I'm running a report on item types and lines, that's two different things I have to add to my report. And I got to merge those two pieces of data together. Here, it's just in one. I'm just going to search on item types and it'll automatically have the length. And there is the total length. Now, you might say, well, what's all this stuff? Why can't it just pull the total length? It's doing some things to it because it's in different units. My active, my master units are different than what I'm reporting on. So I'm doing a little bit of math with it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that total length that's out there and I'm going to multiply it times 300. Why? Because it's in dollars. We're going to take the total length in feet, a linear feet, and just simply add 300 to it. We have one for weight, it's 81 uh, pounds per foot. So we'll add that to it. And that's why when we take a look at these pieces of pipe that are out there. There's the length, there's the cost, now there's the pipe weight. Now I could clean this up as far as the amount of decimal places I didn't, I just left it the way it was. But that's something that was added. Um, right now, if anybody's experimented with this at all, one of the things I will tell you is that if we take a look, All of this is sort of almost programming in a sense that uh, it's an EC expression. You need to know what to type in there, and there's a lot of syntax with it. Um, if you think to uh, things like uh, creating a report, you don't have to type in all that syntax. MicroStation does it for you. In other words, it's an expression builder. That's coming. Right now, we don't have that. It's a little manual. But in this case, it was added uh, to update 12. It is a, uh, a technology preview. Uh, so when it does get to the product, hopefully we'll have a, a robust expression builder in there. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.